Unisha has a pretty good sense of direction since she's doing all this without any kind of map. They should have probably brought like someone on the team specifically with the mission of uh, making maps of the, of, the, of the areas they've been to, you know? But they didn't. Or maybe they did, we just... May, who knows, maybe that's what Rico was supposed to do before he got hurt. Rico looks like the kind of guy who'd be doing something like that, because he looks like a huge nerd. Not that there's anything wrong with that. He looks like a cartoon nerd, though. Like, he's still pretty handsome, even though his hair is terrible. I mean, some people might be able to pull off that sort of bowl-cut look, but he's not one of them. I mean, he looks fine. I like his glasses, big round anime glasses. I'm sure that kind of glasses has an actual name, but I don't know what that name is. Wait, that guy just like dash? Dude, don't do that! I don't want you to have actually good attacks! That's not what I want you to do! I want you to just die because your, your demon's trying to kill me. You know, it's a lot easier to rationalize killing huge numbers of people when they're all demons. If you just tell yourself they're demons or monsters or whatever. I, mean, I think that historically there have been a lot of like times that cultures uh, have done that kind of thing. And I understand why. That torch is lit. I hope it will stay lit and it's not going to be a time limit kind of thing. But I shouldn't, 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 you know, I, sh I shouldn't be so confident that it's not going to be a time limit kind of thing, but I'm pretty confident. Because there's not a timer or anything, and that'd just be a real jerk move to not even let us be sure if the time is running out or not. And this is a pretty well-designed game, so I don't think they're going to do a jerk thing like that. Even if they had the frickin' chicken demons! The chicken sky demons that are on fire! That's a really bizarre combination, come to think of it. Why the hell are they flying chicken head demons? And why are they in this area? Ah, well, demons can do whatever the heck they want. There's just so many weird kinds of demons, you know? Oh, you saw me! Well, you didn't, doesn't matter if you saw me because you're dead now. Alright, where is the other torch? Oh, it's over there! How do I get over there? By getting on this platform! That reminds me, one time I was, uh... Somebody was running for student, uh, like president or something and I asked him what, what what's your platform he said what's a platform I knew that he lost my vote I probably could have said that in a funnier way if I had written it down ahead of time okay so I need to get on top of that platform over there somehow you know there's also a classic Buddhist text or classic Chan Buddhist text anyway called the platform sutra now you know and that you know that's half the battle there's another one of the torches! Hey, hey, Mr. Chickenhead Demon guy. You wanna, you wanna, what's up, you Mr. Chickenhead Demon? Come on, come on, come, come and get me, come, come and get me. And I let the torch at the same blow! Anyway, who, is there anything over here? I just didn't, didn't know what was going on earlier, so I failed to notice it. I didn't know the torch adventure we were gonna have. No, there's just nothing over here. Okay. Wait, can I, like, jump up there? Can I? No, you can't. But this guy sure can! He's a tough guy! Oh, that red slime was just pretty still for a second. Very, uh, unusual for a red slime to be that sort of patient. Red slimes are pretty impatient, but maybe I'm just being stereotypical. I'm sure there are a lot of friendly red slimes out there. You know? I mean, you know, so red slimes are people, too. Oh, wait, no, they're not. They're red slimes. I guess that the fire attack is sneezing. Maybe she ate a whole lot of pepper. And that's that's what she, that's why I made those sneezing kind of noises. Or maybe I thought I was Norio Wakamoto for a second. Anything's possible. You attack me like that, you scurvy dogs! Who are gonna jerk? I normally try to be so peaceful and literate and clear in expressing my thoughts, but this game fills me with demon anger. 
And I guess it kind of fills uh, Unisha with demon anger, too. I do like to see uh, something defying traditional gender roles as much as to make the, uh, uh, you know, the young girl be the totally tough, badass warrior person. Oh, no! I already lit this torch! I don't even, I don't feel like dealing with it. Actually, it's a good chance to see if the torch is still lit. Is it? Yeah, it is. I might as well finish, finish him off now that I started. My god, is she strong. Like, these are like a bunch of, like, huge muscular demons wearing armor and carrying these weapons that kill you in one blow. And she takes them out in, like, seconds. Hey, guys. Hey. On the subject of demons that satisfy the description I just used. Here are some. Here are fans. Yep. Anyway, let's go. They started it. Okay, how the hell do I get up there, you think? Any ideas? God, quit! I'm trying to think! I'm trying to figure out how to navigate your freaking house! I guess this tower is like their house. I suppose it's more like their city, though. Okay. No! I... Wait, okay, so I think I do need to go over here to get up there. I think how I get up there is indeed in this adjacent area. Which also is the purple chicken demons! Actually, what level are we? 24, huh? That's pretty good. That sounds like a pretty good level. I mean, I don't know what level we're, like, supposed to be at at this point, or what would help us defeat, you know, the next boss, but... I have a feeling... It's pretty... 24 sounds pretty good, though. Okay. Alright. Fine. I guess the only thing to do... It's to just be crazy. I mean, I've been pretty crazy so far, just running around throwing fire at enemies, giant demons like this. You know? But what I think I need to do is try is trying to jump up to this platform here. Oh! No. This, this time. Okay, a little bit closer than that. A little bit closer. Oh! Yes! I did it! Hey! You demons! You ah, we made it! Alright. I'll probably be reacting that way. It's see, it's that feeling of triumph. That's what keeps you going through a game like this, you know? You know? Maybe you don't know. Sometimes I don't know. I don't know anything. Oh! Oh! You know, I've been, uh, I'm a bit of a, or not a bit of a, I'm a really big cartoon and comic enthusiast. And recently I've been trying, I uh, got a volume of a, uh, Carl Barks' Donald Duck comics. And, uh, I recognize why they're uh, so famous, you know, from a technical perspective. They're, they're very well done. They're, uh, the writings, I mean, like the way they convey information and the panel layouts and all that, it just... It's just, just about perfect. Like, it's as good as it gets. But at the same time, they're so boring. Like, I, I think if I'd read them when I was a kid, I would have thought they were really interesting and entertaining. But I didn't. And, and I just... Like, I can appreciate the technical aspect, but... I just I just can't bring myself to keep reading. And incidentally, the volume I got um, included what's apparently Carl Barks' personal favorite... Uh, Donald Duck story he did, which uh, was a uh, uh, the one where they I think it's called like Donald Duck in Old California. And I'm reading it, and it's just not interesting. I, I mean, I, no offense to anyone who does like it. I'm not I, like I, I mean, maybe y you can appreciate it more than I can, and that's good that you can. But me, I just well, whatever. You know, there, there's something else about it, too. It's, a, uh, am just not into these sort of anthropomorphic animal worlds. I, I just... It just seems... It just seems wrong. And, and it raises so many questions, like... Donald Duck has, like, a pet dog, which is just, like, an unanthropomorphized dog. How does that work? Are there, like, different casts of dogs? Or... Or... Or, or, or like, the... In, usually, instead of having humans... He, um, uh, has dog-faced people. And it looks 
to me, it just looks really bad. Because they're not... They, they don't really look like anthropomorphized dogs. They look like humans with misshapen faces and dog noses. Oh wow, she got back here quick. Guess relighting all those torches did the trick. Yeah, oh, are you gonna open it? Are you, are you gonna open it? There we go. Acquired Construct Medallion. The next boss is gonna be some kind of big robot golem statue kind of thing called the Construct, isn't it? Yup. Yup, it is. Like, like, in this story, there was. In this volume of Donald Duck, there was bizarrely a story where they're in a world of humans. It was like a spy story. And, and yet, when I read it, I'm sort of like, you know, it doesn't really do anything poorly, per se. But there are so many much better comedies in this I could read or watch, and so many better spy stories, and, and so many more famous and better Disney cartoons, you know? So why should I read this one? And the, but the dog thing, it really bugs me. Like, in, in, in Donald Duck and the old... In old California, for example, they... They meet some Indians, some Native Americans, and when they first meet them, they're drawn with the dog faces. But then, some of them in the background have human faces. And then we get, like, scenes later where there's some that are dog and human in the same time, and it's like, it just, just choose one or the other. And even though he's not drawn in, like, dogs, like, they don't have fur, like, they're flesh-colored, and, and they have, like, human hair on top of their head, and they just look really gross. And I'd be, I'd be as prepared to accept Donald Duck and his duck anthropomorphic duck friends in, in a world of... in a world of humans, as I would be in a world of, of dog people, because either way, they're still different species. Whatever, though. Let's... let's uh, Instead of angsting over this, let's just go fight the freaking construct. How much worse could it be? How could it be any worse than the giant centipede demon, huh? That probably could be. Oh, these are some, uh, what are those called? Hexagons? Maybe. I forget what they're called. Oh. Oh. It's the Goma. No, it's not the Goma. It's Galaldi! Dang, Galaldi. Okay, that was bad. I just need to spin the gear on its hand for some reason. How am I supposed to avoid that? Okay, so we knocked off one of its hands. Okay! I just need to keep hitting that What's it gonna do? What is it doing? Oh no! Okay. Oh! 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 oh. Okay, okay, this- This isn't that bad. This could be a lot worse than it is. It's not that bad. We almost knocked- Oh god, it's the purple chicken! This is where they come from! This is the, the- This is like the evilest thing in the world! This is where the chickens come from! And we're really hurting, man. Let's stand still for a sec and let our health regenerate. It's not working! I will say one thing for sure, it's freaking hands sure regenerated! How are we supposed to dodge that last attack I did, huh? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I figured out the other ones. I can figure out this one if I figured out all those other ones, can I? Yeah, sure. Can. Oh god, okay. It's gonna do this again, is it? Alright, so you need to get out of the way of the, uh, like, laser targeted laser attack. Right? Yeah, right. And now we just need to. Oh, there. Get that, get that, get Oh, we didn't quite get it. Chicken! I shouldn't be too focused on attacking the chickens, honestly. We need to take out as much of its health as we can, at all times. We've taken out a good chunk of its health, but it's taken out an even larger percentage of ours, and we can't get ours back. So that's the problem we have here. See, how do we dodge that? Do we just jump? I guess so. I guess we just jump. 
Okay. Ju -ju -ju -ju. All right, we got both. Wow, we're doing pretty well for being so low on health. All right. Now he's gonna spit out the chicken demon, and it killed us. I guess what I really need to do is just get good. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Well, Galoldi, that sounds kind of like Gennady, which is a, the name of a famous animator. Or his first name, I mean. Gennady Tarkovsky. Or Tartakovsky. Gennady Tartakovsky is his name. Very, uh, he's, uh, one of the, the premier American animators of today. He's, uh, created Samurai Jack, and, uh, he worked on some other things. He worked on the Powerpuff Girls as, like, a character designer, I think. He did a lot of stuff. Good old, good old Gennady Tartakovsky. Like I said, I'm a bit of a cartoon enthusiast, so... Alright, we already got both of its, both of its stupid hands. We just need to attack the head for a while. And just keep running so that it doesn't actually hit us when it tries to smash us with its head. See? Like that. That's what we needed to do. Alright, now it just... How does it get its hands back? Does it get it... Does it have spare parts in the lava or is it like forging them out of the... Out of the lava when it ducks down like that? Who knows? I don't know. That's why I don't know. That's why I'm asking about it because I don't know. They taught us in school that if you have a quest, if, if you have something you don't understand, you gotta ask questions. That's the only way you're gonna learn about it. You know? And I think that's true. I think it's a good thing that they taught us that. I think they taught us a lot of bad stuff in school. And I, I mean, teachers even outright told us stuff that wasn't true. I mean, I don't think they were trying to misinform us. I think they just didn't know. Uh. Ah, uh, fuck off, chicken! I guess killing itself is one way for it to fuck off, isn't it? But I shouldn't be using that kind of vulgarity. And I shouldn't let it keep knocking me into the freaking lava! PITS! This boss is the pits, if you know what I mean! Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, we escaped that attack. We have to, have to attack its hands relentlessly. Oh god, it's gonna do this? While there are platforms missing? Oh well. You know, if it really wanted to kill us, it should just push all the platforms under the lava. That'd be a very effective way of, um, of killing us. Not that what it's doing is exactly ineffective, but... Oh! I didn't get out of the way in time. But I did knock a hand off, so that's pretty good. Gotta hand it to me that I managed to do that, at least. I didn't manage to hit it that time! Man, I wish that the game would give me more of a hand on this one. Oh. No, I don't. That'd make it too easy. I'm not a child. I can handle difficult things. Like being alive. That's... I mean, being alive isn't the hard part. It's the stuff that you gotta go through while you're going through life that's hard. Alright, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. I think this might be the last round, assuming that I can survive, which I am not confident about at all. Get the gear, get the gear, get, 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 get in! Yes, see, we got it by going into high gear. Get it? Oh, we're doomed! There's no way we're gonna win. Actually, there is. Though we're literally, I think we can take one more hit. So there really is probably no way we're gonna win, but I'm gonna keep trying. That doesn't mean, just because there's probably hopeless doesn't mean you should just give up. I mean, it'd be amazing if I did win at this point, right? I mean, I think it'd be very uh, impressive myself. I mean, it'd be like, wow, I, I, that guy did good. That's what you'd say, right? I'm just gonna spit out another one of those stupid vomit purple chicken demons. We did it! Holy crap! With three HP left! Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> That's uh almost unbelievable. I know from the formula that there's gonna be another goddess statue back here, so I'll just save with that one, but Wow. See, like I told you, wouldn't be as bad as the centipede demon. Whatever it was called. I mean, what kind of demon name is Geladly or whatever it was anyway? Uh, it's just kind of silly name for a robot. Oh, the Silent Sands, huh? Is it going to be a desert-themed area? Perhaps? I'll, I'll just have to go on a journey and find out. Well, which way first? 